there guys welcome back to enigma 77 reviews and i hope you are all doing okay during this crazy time that we're all going through together so i've had another small independent business that has come to me and asked if i would review her shop i was super excited because you know this is what youtube's all about for me i i don't use youtube as um anything else but supporting small independent businesses yes i do support some big businesses as well that's not because i'm supporting them that's because i like what they sell and if i want to get it i get it so with that said the lovely lady nicole came to me a while ago now before the lockdown happened i would say now at the time she had gone through something like a family um thing I don't want to say too much about it because that's her personal life but she'd gone through something and um although she asked me if i'd review her shop she asked if she could have some time to kind of grieve and i said take as long as you want do you know what i mean whenever you want to um let me know just contact me and and that was that and I, I didn't say anything else about it and i did start sharing her page on my actual page because i think it's nice when you share other small businesses on your platform it just lets other people have a look and see if they like the stuff everybody's got their own taste everybody has a, a choice to make if they want to have a look in that shop or not as long as it's there people can see it so i have um shared voodoo dude so this is what this video is today and if you're probably wondering what Voodoo Dudes is, I'll tell you a little bit about it because there's not a lot on Nicole's about, but there's enough for me to kind of get the impression of the kind of reason why. And I think I figured, Nicole, like we have had a, a few conversations and stuff. So, so before I go on with that story, I did message her and I asked if she still wanted me to review her shop because she hadn't mentioned it since and I noticed she started putting some new things on her on her shop and I thought I'll share them on my page and she she completely forgot bless her and I said don't worry about it you know take as long as you need um I'll do it for you whenever and she said well I'll get it I'll get it to you now and I said well I'll go over and have a look and she said no I'll, I'll send you like a mystery kind of box okay I was happy with that um i did offer to pay for it and she wouldn't have any of it but this is nicole so nicole does the little voodoo dolls um it's basically felt guys like felt art now i being a mum of four children used to sit and do fuzzy felts with my kids growing up we used to make shapes we used to make little things from them and i really did enjoy that time with my my other kids zach not so much he doesn't really enjoy the material of felt and stuff and plasticine so he's a little bit sensory so he won't touch certain things because it goes through him <laughs> so i don't know how he'll he'll for today he might like this and might find it sensory want to touch it and he might be like Ooh, but we'll see so i really do want to get nicole up on the ladder do you know, i think what she does is amazing she makes cards and on them cards she'll put like felt anything you want you if you say to her can you put such a such a thing in felt she will do that for you that's the whole idea of it she makes key rings as well her clips little voodoo dolls you can put on your key rings i just think it's really really creative and really cute what she does and the reason she started doing this is nicole suffers with what a lot of us like deal with is depression and sometimes being one myself who's who's kind of battled with depression on and off for a very long time um you like to throw your mind into something that kind of distracts the inner thoughts that's going on in your head uh, whether that be a small little business that you start doing either a bit of diy coloring in youtubing there's a lot of things that people do start crocheting there's a lot of things people start to do when they've got depression to kind of take the mind off what's going on in the back of their mind so to speak and then that's why nicole started doing her little voodoo fuzzy felts zach is in front of me like running around like a loony if you see me keep looking over there now she does magnets key rings felt cards and she's also started doing mystery bags and that's what i noticed because i do keep an eye on what she puts up there and stuff 
I've kind of got this little skelly animal t-shirt on today and it kind of like reminds me of the kind of things that she does but with felt so I just thought it was appropriate to put this on um, so she does mystery bags, they're £8, free postage, she'll put two mystery felt items in there, she'll also put lollipop in there and she'll also put some voodoo stickers in there. I think it's a really good idea, everybody likes a mystery bag, this is a complete mystery to me, I haven't got a clue what's inside here. She did ask me what I liked and I said I'm not, I'm not fussed, honestly I'm not fussed, I like anything and for that reason... She sent me this, so let me just cover up my address. So if you have a look at the box here, Violet Moth is getting about a little bit there. As you can see, there's a Violet Moth sticker there. We've got a Happy Post, Mr Pumpkin, delivered by your local ghost it, and a Voodoo Dude sticker. I like the Voodoo Dude sticker as well. I'm going to try and peel these stickers off, guys, because I tried peeling the Violet Moth sticker off the other day and it ripped. I've done it, I've done it. So I'm going to stick this somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to stick it on my little desk. Just there. There we go. It's cute. It's a little baddie. In fact, I may just stick... No, I'll stick it on my little unit. I'll take them off. Right, guys. So let's get stuck in and have a look what Nicole has put in here. Now, her prices are really, really reasonable. She does have a Etsy store as well, guys. I will link everything in the link box below. If you want to go and check out Nicole's little business, I think it'd be great for your little ones as well as yourself. If you like your spooky alternative things, it's right up your street. And, oh, I just think it's lovely what she does. I um, When I first seen Nicole's things, it reminded me of... Um, I used to buy Soxy Beasts. I don't know if you know what they are. They were little monsters that you created out of um, socks, so to speak. Um, I had one made for Zach. If I get a chance before this video ends, I will go and grab it so you can get to see how it looks. But what Nicole does reminds me of that. And that used to be a small independent business that I used to support before I was even on um, YouTube. So I have smarted, uh, smarted. I have supported a lot of small businesses before I was even on YouTube. I think everybody has some companies that they like to buy from religiously. Oh, <gasps> oh, it's well cute. Oh, okay, guys, I'll let you have a look. Oh, her dress is inside. I'm glad she's put her dress inside because I would like to get her a little thank you for. Uh, I just need to try and show this without showing either of our addresses. But if you have a look, guys, this is the box. Oh, lollipop, lollipop. Oh, guys. Now, I will put all the prices up above, guys, so you get to see how much these are. My first item is, oh, diet goes down the window. Out of the window. I don't write down the window. I don't know what men to say that. So, guys, voodoo dudes, a lollipop. Go away. Zach just ran right into the glass doors. Silly boy. I'm surprised he's not seen this lolly. So that's my first item. And she did say that she puts lollies in her mystery boxes. So that gives you an indication. Oh, I think there's another lolly in here. <gasps> Naughty Nicole. One for me and one for Zach. Zach loves to sit and watch his Thomas Tank engine sucking on a lolly. So, oh, my little hair sticking up. So thank you for that. Um, there is a big dude in here and I'm going to grab him last. Right, so she's put three bags in here. And I think she's put... What's in here? Oh, she's a darling. Oh, I'm so happy that people are doing this. So, so happy. Right, I'll get him out last. So she's put her cards in. Oh, I love her cards. She's put two cards in. Now, like I said on Alternative Finch, if you want to send me any of your business cards for me to hand out when I go to the alternative modelling contest. Please give me a DM and I will give you my address and you can send some little cards across. I'm so glad that she's, she's sent me one of these. I like these cards, they're super good quality cardboard cards. So, this is what it looks like at the front guys. And at the back it says Voodoo Dudes. Etsy.com slash UK slash shop slash Voodoo Dudes. And then she's got voodoo, it's a mouthful this, I'll tell you, Cole. Voodoo dude 666 at gmail.com. And um, I think that's Facebook at Nick Nack New. <laughs> I 
Oh, she's laughing her head off of me. Nick Nat New 666, guys. I'm not joking. They are awesome. I like her quirkiness. These voodoo dudes really do remind me of the Soxy Beast. I absolutely love them. Now, I've got two Soxy Beasts. I got them from my wedding. Um, one was me and one was Ben. I and mean, they sat on the table. I'll keep that. Thank you. Now, behind there, she's put me in a couple of stickers. I'm so glad she's done that. Yay. So, they will go onto my little coffin board or on my little display unit with my little batty. So, I'm happy about that. Has she put me a note in here? <laughs> oh. oh, I love it. Right, I'm going to read you some of this out before we crack open these because I think this is so nice. I'm going to... I always get goose pimples when I get notes. So it says, hello, you gorgeous gothic lady. I hope this parcel finds you well at this horrific time. And I hope that its contents brings you some spooky joy. The sticky creatures are for Zach. <laughs> I hope they don't make too much mess on your windows. <laughs> yeah, I can feel the, um, the stickiness going to be all over my sofa. It's up to you if you want to share the lollipops though. And just give me a little um, sign. A little about me. I started Voodoo Dudes two years ago as a little hobby to combat my mental health, anxiety and depression. And it didn't take long for my small little page to start gaining followers. And then orders began to come with them. I'm amazed at how fast I have grown in the last two years. And my skills have definitely improved due to some of the visions I have been tasked with. And bring into life in felt form. I never use a machine and everything is cut and stitched by hand. Sewing machines really do baffle me. <laughs> Bless her. I'm alternative, love, love, love Halloween, horror and all things spooky. So naturally, this is the main focus area of my small business. I work mainly with felt and produce a wide variety of items such as magnets, baubles, hanging charms, bunting, wall art, greeting cards, hair clips, key rings and badges. I've been made a mouldy biscuit. <laughs> I've even made a mouldy biscuit out of felt. No light. <laughs> I love it. Custom orders are accepted. And in fact, they are wholeheartedly encouraged. I do have an Etsy store with not many items listed. This is because prefer, I prefer more sales through Facebook as I can pass on a small saving to the customer by not having to cover Etsy fees. I completely understand that. And I think recently Etsy have put up their fees and I don't know if that's because of the current situation or I don't know. Uh, this, sometimes it gets a little bit too much for businesses that are, um, do you know, trying to make some money out of their business and yet half of it's going to advertisement so it says for example free postage and that is through facebook i'm not very good with talking about myself so if there's anything you need to know please message me oh bless her love lady voodoo nicole <laughs> she's put me a little a little drawing at the bottom oh nicole that is lovely absolutely lovely i don't know if she wanted me to read that out to be honest with you i will ask her and if so i will <laughs> cut it out <laughs> there we go right i will post some pictures up here so you get to see what nicole does while i open these packaging so she's put me in three bags i like the striper bags oh that one's heavy and it's just got a little voodoo sticker so attention to detail is everything with small independent businesses why do they deliver when it comes to their um, appearance their packaging everything is just I get so excitable. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> now, I actually said to the haunted bat, Lizzie, that um, she just got some like fuzzy felt. I think they were her key rings. And I said to her, I'll be doing something similar on my channel very soon for her to check it out. This is a big boo. Oh, look, she's even stitched. I'm not a toy. Guys, look at, oh, I absolutely love that little boo. Oh, I love him. So guys, he is literally that really soft, fuzzy felt, not the scratchy felt that I thought originally what we used to have as kids. This is lush, my hair's sticking up. This is really lush felt. And you can see that she has literally hand stitched every little bit of that. 
I hold my hands up, I can't stitch at all. I, I send everything to my mother-in-law and as for machines, I wouldn't know where to start. So here is my first item with my little boo. Love it, love it, love it. And I love the attention to detail on her bags as well. It's fantastic. Right, go for this one now. This one seems a little bit heavier. I love it. I've been looking at a page at all the stuff and I'm like, why can't I do things like that? <laughs> I suppose if I tried really hard, oh, I probably would be able to. Oh my God, that's so cute. It actually reminds me of the Iron Fist eye. I love it. It's actually a magnet, guys. Oh my God, have I got anything that's metal that, that it could stick to just to show as an example? Um don't think I have. Yeah, I have. Look, my bullet for my valentine. <laughs> That's amazing. And you can see, guys, while I'm here, I can feel it pulling. So it is a really good, strong magnet. This is quite sturdy. Watch. Watch. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, Nicole, I love it. I absolutely love it. Guys, look at the detail. I mean... Jesus Christ, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. She's put all the little the little veins from your eyes and everything. Oh, amazing. So, Mr. Ghosty, my Mr. Boo, and my eye. I see you. <laughs> it actually matches my actual hair. She's probably saying, what is she doing? I love it. I love it. And again, attention to detail. Okay, I don't like these little bags. <laughs> I'm a little magpie. Right, third item before I reveal this this beautiful monster inside my box. Have a look. <gasps> oh, Ni oh, Nicole. Oh, I love it. Guys, so I've got a big bunch of key rings and every time somebody sends me like key rings, I put it on there. I've got like key rings from all my friends like back home and stuff and people that I've met and places I've been. Ah, I don't know if I actually want to put this dude on my actual bag, like hook him on my bag. So I have my Killstar bag. Oh, Nicole is lovely. I love it. So I've got a red scully in felt. And then she's got the, the key loop through and the little, tiny little clipper. I mean, it, again, attention to detail. And that is really easy to get in and out, guys, as well. I love it. I love it. So this is fantastic. I absolutely love this idea. I hope my, like, Zach actually likes these because it's something that I probably get Zach as a treat. So we've got this little key ring. And we've got this here. I'm not too sure where I want to put him yet. I might just I might just dangle him if I can without him just or I'll pin him under there. Yes, Mr. Boo can go under here so he can always be in my video. And then I've got my magnet eye. It's a shame we don't stick to my oh I've actually got yay! I've got my drawers underneath that that can attach to because when I put things like this on my fridge. Zach gets his little mitties on him and yeah, they kind of get destroyed. So I'm going to put him there, but I'll do that when I'm finished. Right, last but not least. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's more stuff in here. <laughs> Nicole, there's too much stuff. Oh, guys, just look. Oh, I've got my own skelly monster. It was so cute. So she knows I like green, obviously, and she knows that I love purple. So she's got the little sticker again, Voodoo Dudes, and then I'm not a toy at the back. Guys, she's so good. She is so good. Obviously, I have to inspect it because that's what I have to do. But on inspection, there's nothing bad I can say about it. It's really good. There's not even a gap in her stitching. It's literally Frankenstein stitched. <laughs> Look. I think that adds character to the voodoo dudes having that stitching. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at him. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. And then she's put, I think these are what she's on about for Zach. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right, so the last two things she's put in there. Sticky creatures. Oh, yes. I know what he's going to do with these, Nicole. 
we used to get Zach something similar to this and he'd throw it at the door or the window and it'd stick to the window and it, he would have fits of giggles. If when I give him these, he does that and he starts giggling, I will film it and I'll put it at the end just to show what these things do to him. He, he just laughs. He just loves it. So this one is a sticky creature. I think it doesn't say what it is. And it says a warning chalk and has a small part. Da, 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 da. Zach wouldn't put these in his mouth. No way. He won't even eat sweet sack. So I don't have that like worry. But I suppose some kids would try and put them in his mouth. And there's a little crocodile. So there you go, guys. So she's put them two items in, which Zach is going to absolutely love. My voodoo dolly, which I absolutely love. My magnet, which is now going to go on there. My little voodoo ghosty keyring, which is going to go on my Killstar bag because I absolutely love that in red. I like how she's injected every colour that I told her I like. Purple, green, red, black. Awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. And last but not least, apart from my two lollies, is my ghosty. Guys, I will pop all the prices up above. And my two lollies. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, guys, please go ahead and... Please show some support to Voodoo Dudes. I know a lot of you have probably never even heard of this before. But please go and check it out. I will link everything in the description box below. And um, like I've said, £8 for the mystery box. It would be similar to this but not as much. It's two mystery gifts, a lollipop and some stickers. And I think for £8 that is amazing. You can also ask her to custom make anything like this for your little one. If I can at the end, guys, I'll take some photos of... Um, my Soxy Beast, because it's very, very similar to what Nicole does. And I used to be blown away by that. I'm so happy that I could just ask Nicole to make my grandchildren one of these. I think they'd absolutely love them. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so, so much to Nicole. Mwah. I absolutely love everything that you've put in here. I'm going to peel them stickers off because I want to keep them. So go ahead and check out Voodoo Dudes, guys. I'll take some pictures of these and you can have a look at the end. So until the next time. Please carry on supporting small independent businesses at this very time that we're going through because every little bit helps. Okay, guys, stay safe, take care, and thank you to all the new subscribers. You make me climb that ladder, and um, I appreciate every one of you. See you on the next one, guys. Bye for now.